back to the Janney stick. The kiss box is certainly visible in public, but this I can walk around with, make little hits, hold the little hits, exhale no vapor, and still get my nicotine in public without anybody really noticing. This has a lot of advantages. I don't just use it that way though. I use it normally as I would any other electronic smoking product. Now, let's get to the newest product, the one I wanted to talk about, which is the Janty Ego. Look at this thing. It's a rocket ship to Mars, right? It, it, it has a, a battery in the front and it has a little cone adapter, like Mission Impossible or something. And then it's got the atomizer from the 510. The same atomizer that the Dura uses is used in this. And special cartridges that go into the atomizer. The atomizer then goes into the, the battery. Turn A into B until C locks in place and then over, override both with D. Now this seals the whole thing and makes for a nice unit. You've got the push button at the top here, the manual switch, and it makes a little bit of a light You get the vapor out of this that you would get out of the Dura or any other 510 product. But there's something kind of unique about this that I can't put my finger on it in that it has a harder throat hit, what's called a throat hit, which is the rush over your throat that causes sometimes a cough spasm. It feels a little rough. I don't know what they do to this. It is not the liquid. This comes with RY4, which is a, a favorite liquid of mine, uh, tasting a bit like caramel, uh, just, just excellent. But the RY4 doesn't have a throat hit in, for instance, my Janty stick, my Kiss Box, Kiss Box here, but it does in my Ego. How come? Really don't know. Now, there, this is a good unit. I've used it now for almost two weeks. It was sent to me by Janty. It was sent to me. I didn't buy this. All right, so my comments... You can, you can call them biased if you want to. I don't do bias reviews, but you can take whatever you'd like out of it. Um, I've used it for about two weeks, and it is not my preferred device. It's good, but it's not my preferred device. This is number one, the Kiss Box. This is number two, the Janty Stick, a very close follow to the number one. And this is now number three. This does have a couple of unique problems that you might want to consider, however. One is the battery's not replaceable. It lasts about a year of recharging, but it's not replaceable. After a year, you buy a new unit. It comes with its own little charger kit. Here's, here's one uh, on the charger. And look at the length of the wire. Too short, in my view. Way too short. By the time I plug into a, a wall socket down here and try to lay this on a countertop, it doesn't work. So you're going to have to find a really close socket so you can plug this in or get yourself an extension cord. This is just too short, Janty. you got to do something about this. All right, the, um, the biggie, however, came with the cartridges that you use for the liquid the, that contain the core that contains the liquid that gets vaporized. They are round tips, very much like a regular cigarette. I prefer what are called whistle tips, which are shaped more like a pipe tip. But what happened was, after some use of one of these, I was inhaling and something hit the back of my throat. What hit the back of my throat was this little piece here, the very tip of the cartridge. It's kind of rough, has some prongs on it so that it fits, and it's followed by a really tiny, tiny little rubber piece that I just dropped. And then here's the cartridge itself. Sorry for the kind of shakiness there with my hand, but pretty hard to hold those things. They're tiny little pieces, but this happened not once. This happened five separate times with different cartridges. The end piece came off. After the first time, I learned not to really inhale hard. Inhale kind of behind your lip. And when the end piece comes off, catch it in the front of your lip. 
This other one hit the back of my throat and dropped fortunately into my mouth. Now I could have swallowed it, no big deal, but what if it had blocked an airway or gone the other direction? People do get food, water, and foreign substances from their mouth into their lungs. As a matter of fact, you put vapor and smoke into your lungs through your mouth, do you not? That thing is hazardous. That needs a, a kind of an immediate recall and it needs a serious redesign. And I don't, want, I don't want one anyhow. I want a whistle tip that does not have a little tiny end cap that I can suck off and possibly asphyxiate myself with or require a trip to the emergency room at a minimum. Now the JT Ego comes with a little carrying case in addition to the charger and stuff and uh, it fits over and you can you can close it and you can you can carry it in your pocket or your purse if you'd like nice little logo on the thing however I didn't particularly like that I wanted something hard and they didn't offer a hard case as they do for the Dura for instance or the, the kiss box so I pulled out one of my cigar tubes this cigar was a a real cheapo, an Optimo Corona rum that cost under $2. Can you imagine buying a case for under $2? The end comes off. I stuffed a small piece of cotton down there. I drop my ego into it, cap it, and now I've got something that fits in my pocket, makes me look kind of classy that I smoke cigars, and protects my ego from external strikes in a way that the little flexible cloth thing you just cannot do. If you bump your chest against things, there's a possibility you could hurt it or bend it or damage it. So you want to carry it somehow other than just loose. Bingo! This was a good one. Now how does it work? How did I like it? I liked it about as well as the other devices I have. They're all kind of similar in what they do and they all lack the same thing, which is, is what is in tobacco and in tobacco smoke that is not in the vapor and that's the alkaloids from the tobacco itself. Now the, the nicotine replacement therapy products from the big pharmaceutical companies also lack the uh, alkaloids. They have the nicotine but if nicotine satisfied us then what the heck I could just use this and be completely happy or maybe a patch I'd be getting my nicotine then I'd be completely happy right? I'm not. What they don't have are the alkaloids. They simply don't. And that's what's missing. That's what gets to your brain, alters your chemistry a bit, gives you that feeling of satisfaction and contentment that I really never get. What these do have is mimicry of the habit you're leaving, of smoking, of having something in your hand, of bringing something to your mouth. And that's very much a good thing. They also offer you the visual of the exhaled vapors in a way that simply placebo fake plastic cigarettes cannot do. All right, let's sum up a little bit. The Janty Ego tested today is the evolution of electronic cigarettes. They're where we are. The design is sleek like a poor sculpted in a wind tunnel. It's really a beautiful thing. The battery life exceeds 10 hours, which is just about the best on the market from any device even though you're going to have to throw away those magnificent looking batteries in about a year. The price is about right. We're talking maybe $84, $85 present retail. And what makes it worth that? Janty. Notice how many of my devices are Janty. I have a history with that company. I love their products. I love their warranty and I love the people that answer my email virtually instantly when I have a problem. When an atomizer dies under the warranty, just tell them it's dead and a new one arrives in the mail. Can't get much better than that. Janty is based in the USA, in Texas as a matter of fact, for shipment of its products and processing of its orders. Try that with a company based in China that you do business with on the internet and good luck. I've been there. I have been so screwed by Chinese companies that I don't care if I ever do business with them again. Janty will have my business and the ego is a fine evolution of what began as a little toy fake placebo that made little wimpy vapor and has evolved into the magnificent product I demonstrated here.